Welcome. Excited this video we're dealing with <clears throat> some basic tax reforms for individuals and families, publication 5307 for the upcoming tax season. And so I'm just gonna go over some of the basic things that's gonna apply to individual income tax taxpayers uh for the upcoming season. I won't be covering everything, just some of the basic things that apply to clientele that we most will be serving uh in this industry that apply across the board to everyone. Uh, so for people who are uh, filing a return, uh, the standard deduction amounts have went up. Um, for people who are single now, they get to deduct twelve thousand dollars from their income. Uh, people who are married filing separately are also get to deduct twelve thousand from their income. Married filing joint get to deduct twenty four thousand. Head of household get to deduct eighteen thousand from their income. And so this here changes the game when it comes to people who are in higher tax brackets, but who normally couldn't itemize anyway because they didn't have uh, enough personal uh, expenses to be able to fill out a Schedule A form. So this puts them in a different situation now that the standard deduction amounts have been uh, increased to help them to lower their tax liability based on overall income. And so for people who are making 40, 50, 60, and, and up, you know, especially for single people who don't have kids or kids are already grown and they fell in on returns and they don't really have any deductions or credits that they can really qualify for based on their individual situation, then uh, the increase in the standard deduction will definitely help those in that situation. And people who haven't federal withholdings taken out, um, sufficiently in the first place they will get more of that money back which will give them a bigger refund uh overall when it comes to that even though they have taken away the exemption amount which made a big difference because the exemption amount was based on how many people were on the return so for example for five people on the return times four thousand you would able to take additional money off whatever your income was after you deducted your standard deduction amount but uh, since that amount has been taken away, uh, it's going to basically uh, change the way we calculate the return for us, your tax liability and how much that will be uh, when it comes to calculating how much you're going to owe the government based on uh, income minus any uh, adjustments will equal AGI, which is adjusted gross income. And so for people who um have children they will still benefit uh cost of the earn income credit earn income credit which is with the largest part of the refund anyway along with the additional tax credit and the federal withholding amount which was the three different lines that generally made up the income tax return uh for most low income families in the first place uh, they should still walk away with a decent tax return. And so that's going to be the bottom line to that because with the increase of the standard deduction amount, even though the exemption amount has been taken away, uh, for people who generally made under 30000 or less, they're not going to be affected by it no way because of the increase in the standard deduction will still allow them to not have a tax liability base and the payments that we normally add up to equal a refund will basically come out to be the same for low income families. So generally people, families under 30,000 or less, they should still walk away with a decent refund. Um, and so also they increased the child tax credit to $2,000 per child. So uh, and they made a portion of that refundable, so that's going to be the game change as well. For people who have children under 17, uh, it's a refundable portion of that money that can go to the family, which is going to make a, another difference, which is going to like offset the fact that the exemption amount has been taken away because now it's a chance you can get back $1,400 uh, towards the child tax credit as part of your refund along with the earned income credit, along with the additional tax credit, along with the federal withholdings amount. Uh, and if you got kids who of college age who are full-time students, uh, then 
also the uh, refundable part of the education credit. So, uh, like I say, the changes that's made is going to only really affect people who fall into the category of making 40000 or more, especially single, thing, single people uh, who don't have kids or kids are uh, already past the age of filing them and they basically filing their own returns. So with the basic for individual and family tax reform, publication 5307, um, that's going to start in January of 2019 uh, for the upcoming tax season. And so uh, in another video, I'll share with you uh, some additional tax reform uh, situations that may affect the upcoming clients that we service and potential clients we looking to get uh, in the 2018 tax season. And so uh, I'll see you in the next video, Sean.